we could head towards Sherrillton from Sapstrath Sea Haven. This is all your fault, you evil brat! I don't like the way the villagers here treat you. I want to ask my friends if there's anything we can do. That's not something you see every day. You get your mail by carrier pigeon? Something like that. It's how I keep in touch with someone special from afar. I told her a beautiful woman has appeared in my life. Hey, I didn't know you were married. <laughs> Do I look like the marrying type to you, Mr. Honor Student? Huh? You mean you're not? Who knows? Oh, looks like we're about to depart. Yeah. Wow! I've never seen the sea before! Impressive, huh? Just what was that girl doing in the village? Wasn't she being held captive? Maybe it was the other way around. Maybe she was being protected. <laughs> Elise? <laughs> Tifo! Look! Well, hey! Check out that water! You'd die if you fell in! She's not a bad girl. It doesn't seem that way. I wonder if we'll find someone who'll take her in. That's your responsibility. You'll have to find someone on your own. Right. I guess she really is mad. Hmm. Isn't she always like that? To be honest, I thought for sure she was gonna shoot down your idea to bring the girl along. Why? She's just so single-minded. I bet she'd kick a puppy if it got in the way of her mission. Come on, Mila isn't that cold-blooded. I wonder. Speaking of her mission, I hear you two had a rough time at that lab in Fenmont. Did Mila tell you about it? Well, she must have swiped something big from there, huh, kid? Some juicy national secret that got the army all riled up? I don't know. You'd have to ask her. Don't play coy, kid. I'll find out eventually. Why not just tell me now? It'll be our little secret. I'm sorry. I really don't know. Well, I guess she really doesn't trust us. No, that's not true. Wait here. I'll go ask her. No, no. If you really don't know about it, then forget I asked. I mean that. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. But... I doubt she'll take kindly to me poking my nose in her business. So don't tell her I asked, okay? All right. Got it. I've still got the key. But how much time does it buy me? Mila? You see something? No. I was just thinking. Elise, what are you going to do now? I... I don't know. Hmm. Huh. What exactly do you know? We know Jude and Mila and Alvin are our pals! That's not the sort of thing I meant. What is Tipo, for instance? How can a doll talk? What do you mean, what's Tipo? You're looking at him! I'm Tipo! I'm Ellie's pal! Having a conversation with you is quite difficult. We don't seem to be on the same page. <laughs> We better get our stuff. You're right. Looks like we're almost there. I wonder how tight Rashigal security is right now. Mila! Mila's our pal! Oh. <laughs> Looks like everyone's getting along, at least. Don't worry. Everything will work out.
Looks like security's not so tight after all. Soldiers are still patrolling, though. We'll have to be careful. Strange. What changed? They were deploying soldiers across the border to find us before. Maybe they found something more important to do than chase after us. I'm not complaining. Let's avoid the soldiers and head to Fenmont. Hang in there, Elise. It'll just be a little while longer till we reach the city. Then I'm sure we'll find the perfect person to take you in. What? But I... Take us in? What the hey are you talking about? That could have gone better. He just told the little lady he's unloading her on a perfect stranger. That's news to her. No wonder she looks surprised. And he thinks I'm inconsiderate. He's just a kid. Hmm? Nothing. Those wanted posters! Is that Jude and Mila? Wow! You both look so evil! That's supposed to be Jude and I? Well, this is lucky. If that's what they're looking for, there's no way they'll ever catch us. These are awful. Oh, I'm sure this can't be fun at your age. Kids can be so self-conscious. No, I don't care about me, but Mila looks terrible. He's right. This is quite unfortunate. The whole reason I assumed this form is because its appearance is effective against men. Half the human population. But if I'm as ugly as I appear in that poster, I need to fundamentally reevaluate my strategy. Wow, that is diabolical. I had no idea. Jude, be honest with me. Am I attractive from a male perspective? Uh, well, you're beautiful, in my opinion. And sexy! Ellie says she wants to look just like you. Tipo! You have nothing to worry about, Mila. So, what would you say are her finest features? Oh, maybe how good she smells, or those amazing curves. Yes, I see. Thank you for your invaluable opinion. My, my. Our little Jude is becoming a man. I was just speaking objectively. Looks like our wanted poster is making the rounds at the Sea Haven. Hmm. Does this sort of thing actually work? You tore it down? Yes, but I can't imagine a poster like this will give us any trouble. Do humans have a different sense of aesthetics than I do? Well, anyway, Mila tore it down, so we should be safe here, right? That'll never work. Keep tearing them down, and they'll keep putting them right back up. Mila? It's nothing. Alvin's right. Even with this terrible likeness, we can't afford to take chances. We should move on. All right. Given enough time, they might manage to make a replacement key as well. We need to hurry. A military checkpoint. I knew things were too easy. What'll we do? Well, hey! What's over yonder? That's the deep wood. If we can hike our way through there, we'll come out right near Sherilton. Then our path is clear. It won't be easy going. What about Elise? You knew she'd face risks on this journey. Fine, really. I can go with you. Don't argue, you guys. You're pals, remember? Elise. The girl has agreed, so this matter is no longer open to debate.
quite a dense forest. Let's try to stick together, okay? What was that? Was it warning us, maybe? Well, Mila certainly seems unfazed. Oh, I see a way through! Hurry up, you two! Great, even the spud is getting gutsy. Let's go. I'm not so good with these tight passages. Must be this astonishing physique of mine getting in the way. <laughs> that thing's got reach. It can hit all of us with ease. This could pose a problem. Elise, keep your distance. We can't look after you and fight at the same time. Stay back. Jude! Damn it. I... I can help. You... you healed us? <laughs> Glad you brought us along now, huh? Our wounds are healed. Did the leaf do this? Stay back, it's dangerous. But wait, hold on! I can... Imagine. A little girl wielding arts like that. Elise, you saved us. <coughs> it's okay, Elise. There's nothing to be scared of anymore. That's not it. You two need to make up. Pals need to stick together. I promise I won't get in your way again. Honest. You heard the little lady. Now make nice with Jude here, for Elise's sake. Make nice? It's not like I'm angry or anything. That's not how it looks to me! You were getting along better before! I'll do my best, okay? Why do I suddenly feel like the villain here? <laughs> Fine, all is forgiven. And hey! Don't you have something to say to Elise? Sorry for making you worry. And thank you. This is some serious friendship stuff right here! Level 99 on the friendship meter! Elise's arts could really help us in a pinch, don't you think so? Agreed. Thank you, Elise. I'm counting on you. Sally forth, pals! What luck. Never expected a channeler like her to be along for the ride. Look out, guys. There are little bugs everywhere. I wonder if Mila gets bitten a lot in that outfit. You didn't know? She swats the bugs away with her hair. Wow, like the tail of a cow! Don't compare my crowning glory to the tail of a cow. Crowning glory? I didn't expect such vanity from the Lord of Spirits. Sylph styled my hair for me. He said, you're in human form, so you need to take care of your appearance. You have the great spirit of wind style your hair? That's incredible! Yes, I'm quite fond of it. If I swing it around quickly, I can distract a foe between attacks. So you do swish it like a cow. <laughs> uh, 
everyone okay? Where... <coughs> Where is everybody? The smoke. <coughs> what is it? <coughs> ah. Ugh, my eyes. This ain't smoke. <coughs> Some kind of spore, more likely. I bet these are smoke shroom spores. Once the spores get in your eyes or nose... <coughs> You can't stop crying! Doesn't bother me! What a bunch of crybabies! You see the way Mila freezes those enemies in their tracks? I guess she really is into bondage. Oh, is that what the technique is called? Aww, I thought I'd get more of a rise out of you than that. I'm just tired of your lies and innuendos. Just give it up already. Oh, and now I'm the one being tied down by your sadistic decrees. Sorry, Jude. I'm not that into bondage play. But it is true that some people can only experience true intimacy when they're tied and bound. The conversation takes a surprising turn. Are you speaking from personal experience? No, I read it in a book. It was called Men and Women Beneath the Sheets. What sort of books are you reading? There was a similar comment in The Aesthetics of Being the Catcher, as well. That one's probably about something different. Oh? Well, well, I wouldn't really know. Sounds like Mila's more into total freedom than tying anyone down. Again. They don't look ready to turn tail and run this time. Get along, little doggies! I sure wasn't expecting him. What are you doing here? Good dogs. Thank you for telling me of these intruders. I thought Ivor was the only one who could talk with animals. You're Jow, right? Hmm? I don't remember introducing myself. We heard your name from the people of Hamel. What do you want? Is that not obvious? Come, child. We're returning to the village. You had me worried sick. I never thought you would leave the village while I was away. No, no, no! Don't let him take us, Jude! Do you have any idea how the villagers treated Elise when you left her alone? I am truly sorry about that. What exactly is Elise to you? Let's just say, I know where she used to live. Where she grew up. So will you take her back to her home? Or are you planning to lock her up in her mill again? That is my business, and mine alone. You will hand the girl over. Then you leave me no choice. The bigger they are, right? You need to come with me. No! I don't want to! Please, listen to me. Well, you're one to talk. Let me guess. You work out? Why must you remain with these people? They will bring you nothing but trouble, I'm sure of it. I want to stay with them because they made me their friend. 
And friends don't leave friends alone! Elise. Mila, Alvin. If it were up to me, I would not bring her back. I am not doing this by choice. Just put that away. to be alone, huh? Then perhaps all of those people are actually good for you after all. <laughs> 